Hello, it's Lee McCain here, welcoming you to the Beth and Lee Law of Attraction radio show. For the next two weeks, we'll be broadcasting encore performances of some past shows, but we'll be back with all new programs starting October 11th. In the meantime, sit back and relax as we talk about the wonderful Law of Attraction. And thanks for listening. And I am Beth McCain. And we'd like to welcome you to the Beth and Lee McCain radio show right here on YouTube, where every week we talk about the law of attraction, we answer your questions. Beth and I have been uh, practicing the law of attraction for about 10 years now. We sure have. And it's really done wonders for us, and so we just want to share pass the glory, on the pass it on, absolutely. And, and we're, sh we're sure glad that you're tuning in and sending us emails and, and visiting the website, www.bethandleemccain.com. We had another great week a lot of hits this week on the website just like last week yes we did so please keep visiting it we thank you very much for that and we hope to see you soon we're getting ready to start you know going out on the road here toward the end of the fall so yeah we are but yeah. we've got those laptops and we're still going at it you guys yes, so we are we it, we are the people that are answering every question just to let you know Whenever that you send us an just email, us it's us so if it takes a little bit of time... Please be patient. Yes. <laughs> well, how have you enjoyed your week, Beth? We've had a good week. We it's really been, have. It's been wonderful, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it sure has. We had some great rain. Yeah. Uh, we, we both got together love on rain. Labor Day. We had a wonderful uh, with the family on Labor Day. We sure Hope did. Hope you all had a wonderful Labor Day weekend out there, too. Yeah. And, and it's just... Now Now we're getting kind of toward the fall. Looking oh, forward to that. Oh, I love fall. Fall is my absolute favorite, favorite time of year. And um, you want me to, who wants to ask first here? Go for it. You want, okay, so th this is for you. Okay. From uh, Santa in Texas. Oh, yes, yeah, Santa had another question. Yep, she, she has written to us mm -hmm. before. Well, actually, she, she sent us like a big question block, and this is the only time we've had to get to, a, to another, set, one. A, another one of her questions. So, Santa, if you're listening, um, this is the one that uh, uh, Beth really uh, put a lot of thought into, and, and, and let's, uh, let's ask it now. Santa writes, as I have understood, thoughts become things. My question is when one is dreaming at night, the brain is generating uncontrolled thoughts. So do these thoughts manifest? In my experience, some of my dreams have come true. I guess what I want to know is that how can I use dreams to manifest and can I? Well, Santa, I've asked that question myself and I am one of those people that loves to dream. Whether it's a nightmare or just a goofy dream, I love to have a dream. I love to wake up in the morning, figure it out, and I just love that unknown element of the dreams. Can you use the law of attraction in your dreams to manifest what you want? I believe you can. Uh, that is a personal, that comes from personal experience. And what I tend to do is if I have a dream of pressure or stress, which I don't have any longer, but I used to. I would wake up in the morning and I would change that dream. If I dreamed I was drowning, I would uh, in the morning just pretend I would take the dream over again in my head and pretend a boat was coming by and it would pick me up. I would always change them. But the one thing that I did about my dreams that I feel helped during the physical end of life, not the dream life, was before I'd fall asleep, I would ask for dreams that will help me in my physical life, that will manifest things quicker. And I would have these incredible dreams that had these insights. Now you have to be able to figure out your dreams. You know, when you interpret, it doesn't mean one thing is the same for another person. Lee doesn't like snakes. If he dreamed about snakes, that'd be an issue for him. For me, if I dreamed about a snake, I, for some reason, associate them with wisdom. So you can see how that could be different. In the evening, after you've asked the universe, for a dream and say thank you the next morning write it down no matter how trivial it may seem and kind of try to figure it out for yourself there'll be an insight in there that will move your life forward for the law of attraction uh, and the more you do it the more it'll come easier and more clear for you I hope that answered it, it makes sense to me okay all right so you got one for me I sure do this is from Jean in New Mexico. Hello. <laughs> we love New Mexico. Yes, we do. Very pretty. I say my own affirmations. I am thinking and doing everything right. 
Why can't I get what I want? Jean, you can get what you want. You really can. Let's start with looking at your email here. Let's change the word thinking to feeling. You can think, you can figure, you can dwell, but until you start to feel, the universe will not take an active hand in delivering what it is you want because it is the feeling that's the trigger. See, the difference between thinking and feeling, it's like the difference between English and Spanish. They're two languages. And the universe, its language is one of feeling. It's not one of thought. Now, you think, but what you need to do is once you have gotten those thoughts, once you have uh, collected those thoughts, turn those thoughts into the feelings of what it is that you yeah. desire so that if okay let's say that you are thinking about a relationship that you want and you are thinking about all the money that you have in the bank the thinking is there and it's important to have thinking because that helps the focus of the picture of what you want. Well, sure, but, again, that's your language. That's sure. the language of thought. But, but what you want to do is you want to think about the money in the bank and then what that makes you feel like to actually have it now. And when you have that feeling start to bubble, when you feel feel it's, it's it's almost for lack of a better word it's almost a high I mean when you when you start to feel that this is in the now and you have it now and now 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 all of a sudden that's when things begin to open up and you recognize the indicators surrounding those things opening up and then pretty soon there it is you've got what you want you got what you desire you got what you sent up to the universe via feelings don't be so analytical don't be so um i want this i want this i want this and what happens is you get so used to that that it just becomes a mantra and there's nothing attached to it and if there's no feeling attached it's just not sure gonna happen. get get into a wonderful feeling you know space just do your best to do that and also use the thoughts to focus yep. it's just a focus and gosh hope Thank it works you. out Thank All you right. very much, Gene. Well, a couple of wrap-ups here before we leave for this week. Um, thank you for those of you who have been sending into the website your uh, stories, your Law of Attraction uh, stories on, and how the LOA has, has worked in your life. We are collecting those for a book. We are. And also, you know, I want to tell you something else. When you send in the stories, believe me, it doesn't have to be the stories of the grandioso how you got the Lamborghini. We would love to hear the parking space stories. Mm -hmm. We love to hear how things just, as coincidence, no, but everything just worked perfectly together for you. Let us know about those experiences because people want to hear those to see where they are at and yeah. wonder if others experience those. Absolutely. And it's they do. They sure. really, really do. So please, not just what everybody thinks is the big ones because they are all big. Mm -hmm. Every last one. They are. Well, folks, thank you so much for tuning in again, and we'll be back next week as always. And Beth, uh, thank you so much for all your wisdom and all you, all the fun doing this. I, I back just, at you, babe. I just enjoyed doing this with you so much. And folks, thanks again. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. Here's an important program note for listeners of our one-hour show, Radio LOA. For the next two weeks, you can better access the program from the streaming link located at our own website, www.bethandleemccain.com. Just click onto the Radio LOA tab and scroll down to the streaming link. You can listen to Radio LOA every Sunday night at 9 p.m. Eastern and 6 Pacific Time, and the Universal 7 Radio Network website is scheduled to return soon with all new programming. But in the meantime, stream the show from our website at www.bethanleemccain.com. Click on to Radio LOA. And we'll be back next week. Thanks. <laughs>